always under the microscope. And you have said in recent months that you have no plans at this point to run for president. Is that one of the reasons? Uh, well, no, not really. Uh, my family's been supportive of whatever I want to do in terms of politics, but I ha don't have any plans or intentions to be a candidate again. And really the main reason is I'm involved in a different kind of campaign to try to raise awareness of what I truly believe is the most serious crisis our civilization has ever faced. To people all around the world to try to raise awareness not only of the climate crisis but also of the solutions and how we can solve it. But if this is the number one moral issue <clears throat> and the president is the key player here, then why wouldn't the man whose face is, is the face of the issue be running for president? Well, I think the president is important, but I think the key players are the American people. Because until but the, the president sets the agenda. The president sets the agenda and the Congress deals with the agenda, but both have to get the permission of the American people. At this. the risk of beating a dead horse or donkey, I guess, in this case, um, <laughs> no intentions to run at this point. Have you definitely ruled it out? And if not, at what point will you make a decision? Well, I don't expect to be a candidate again, uh, ever. Have you I haven't made a Sherman, so-called Sherman statement. I don't see the need to, to do that. But really, I'm focused on this whole different kind of effort, not, not only in this country, but in other countries as well, but primarily in this country, because what the United States of America does is crucial for what the world as a whole does. So more significant to the American public than the war in Iraq, for example? Well, both the war in Iraq uh, and the climate crisis share one thing in common. In both cases, the truth was pushed aside. and the facts were ignored. Trying to get this message out about the climate crisis and the, the, the horse race of uh, uh, American politics uh, is going to continue to play out over the next year and a half and uh, who's ahead and who's behind on any given day, who's going to the starting gate, who's not. Uh, uh, you know, I, I've kind of fallen out of love with politics. I really want to focus my attention and energy and whatever experience and, and talents I've gained over the years. I think it may well be that the highest and best use of that is to try to bring enough awareness of the solutions to the climate crisis and enough of a sense of urgency that we come together across party lines I thought it was very disappointing and how was it different than when President Clinton pardoned some co in some controversial cases well it's different because uh, in this case the person involved is charged with uh, activities that l involve knowledge of what his superiors in the White House did.